Hi, it's me. Uh, good morning. Good morning. I was supposed to have a two-hour nap. You let me sleep all night. Everything was quiet. It was okay. So, how you feeling? Great. Ready for anything. <laughs> how about you? Did you get any sleep? Actually, I did. Things settled down around 1 o'clock, mm. so I came on back to the room. Pat, you should have come and woken me up. Well, I figured you were going to sleep for a week. Well, I feel like I did sleep for a week. Thanks a lot for the flower. What flower? The rose you left on my pillow. It was really sweet of you. I, I woke up thinking about you, and then the first thing I saw was the rose. Hey, Faith, I didn't leave you a rose. You didn't? No. Well, then... There must have been somebody in my room last night, Pat. Maybe there's somebody in here now. Faith, uh, why don't you just have a look around, okay? No. Oh, hang on. Pat, don't go away, all right? No, I won't. There isn't anybody in here now. Good. Hey, Faith, is there any chance you could have brought the rose up yourself? No, no. Th th there definitely was somebody in here last night, Pat. While I was asleep. So charming, so irresistible, so damn hot. So damn hot. A special Hot Guys of ABC Daytime. Catch fan favorite episodes of All My Children, One Life to Live, and General Hospital. I'm much needed eye candy. Plus, you'll want to hear what they've got to say about women. I prefer a woman asking me out. But mostly, you're just gonna want to watch. Yeah. <laughs> you're so bad. You have no idea. The Hot Guys of ABC Daytime. Today on ABC, tonight starting at 8 on SoapNet. You know how it is. You look in the mirror one day and you go, how am I gonna lose this weight? E-Diet's meal delivery from eDiets.com. It's the easiest, smartest, most delicious way to eat great and finally lose the weight. I know you're thinking, eat great and lose weight? Really? Really. You'll love the food. There's no MSG, no fake sugars. The food tastes fantastic. It's awesome. Very delicious. It tastes wonderful. Call now or go to eDiets.com. Choose from over 100 fresh prepared meals. Not dehydrated diet food, but really delicious food. eDiets will deliver your favorite meals and snacks in a chill, fresh container. All you have to do is relax, enjoy, and eat great all the way to slim. I lost 115 pounds. 65 pounds. 25 pounds. 94 pounds. Along the way, eDiets.com gives you real support. Terrific online tools, access to registered dietitians and trainers, and friends who care about your success. They're there with you to hold your hand, and they really care. Truthfully, I like everything about eDiet. I've lost 30 pounds. All of a sudden, I find myself a changed person. Hey, I made it to 50 pounds, and look at me now, I'm 60 pounds. Millions of people have turned eDiets.com to lose the weight. Now it's your turn. Call or go to eDiets.com and sign up for seven full days of meals, three meals per day, fresh prepared just for you, plus snacks. So don't wait. Join eDiets. Eat great food and lose weight fast. I believe that eDiets can change people's lives. My husband will often say, 
like you're the hot wife. That's just boosted my confidence a lot. Eat to Hots has changed my life forever. Call to find out how you can get one week of meals absolutely free. That's right. One week of fresh prepared food. One week of weight loss. One week of success. Free. Free? What are you waiting for? Call or go online to get started now. Call 1-800-279-1604 or visit ediets.com now. Hey, Frank, have I got news for you. Yeah, what's that, buddy? Well, I just talked with an inspector from the City Housing Authority. You know, the co company is supposed to own those buildings. They're going to be in a lot of trouble by the end of the week. We've got violations on top of violations. It isn't a corporation that owns those buildings, Bob. It's Nick Zabo. Our Nick? Himself? How'd you find that out? I asked Jill to check out the corporate ownership in the Secretary of State's office in Albany. Jill went all the way up to Albany. She brought back a list of so-called principals, and they're all Nick's people. The president of the corporation is that thug, Herbie. <laughs> How sweet it is, huh? Albany. Jeez, you guys went to a lot of trouble. I didn't have much choice. What do you mean? There's some things going on I haven't told you about, Bob. Well, yeah, what things? You know I really care about Delia, don't you? Well, yeah, sure I do. What's that got to do with what you have to tell me, Frank? What's the point? Well, Delia and I have been married how long now? Well, I, I don't know, Frank. Maybe five, six years. Almost six years. Bob, it hasn't been an entirely successful marriage. You're saying that you're having trouble with D? Is that what you're getting at, Frank? Sort of. Oh, I hate to hear that. Well, I know she was pretty upset about how busy you were during the campaign. It's more than that, Pop. Well, it can't be more than that, Frank. I'd heard about it. Dee would have told me. There's been trouble between us almost from the beginning. We had a few happy months, but it never really worked. Frank. You're saying the marriage. You're saying... You and Dee, that never worked. That's right. Well, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, the baby. <sighs> Have you tried marriage counselors, that kind of thing? Maybe you should talk to Father McShane. He's very helpful about things like that. It's a, lot of, it's a lot worse than that. Well, Frank, how can it be a lot worse? What are you trying to tell me? The first three years were miserable, Bob. We both pretended and tried to keep the family from finding out, but it wasn't any good. Then three years ago, when I started law school, I saw Jill Coleridge again. Yeah. We started out talking law, and then... Yeah, 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 yeah. I kept on seeing Jill, and one thing led to another. Now let's just hold it right there, Frank. I don't want to hear what I think you're going to tell me. I have to, Bob. Nick Sabo's found out, and he's trying to blackmail me with it. You and Jill Coleridge. You've been having a thing? For three years, Bob. For three years? And you and Dee and the baby, that was all pretend, huh? You've been sneaking off to see Jill, is that it? Is that where you've been going, Frank? Is that where you were all those afternoons you were so vague about? Yeah. Oh, oh my Lord. I mean, I, I may be slow, but I'm not dumb. You lied. You lied to me. You lied to Delia. How could you do that? It just happened. It oh. happened. For three years, I it happened. I thought it was something that would pass, Yeah, Bob. yeah, you just thought you were playing around. Is that it, Frank? I mean, what the hell is that? That's not like you. I've never known you to hurt anything, to cheat on anything. Nick found out, and he's threatened to expose the whole thing, Bob. I've told Mom and Da. I'm going to have to tell Charlie Ferris and the district leaders. Tell Charlie Ferris? How about telling me? I'm trying to, Bob. You've been running around on my sister for three years, and you're worried about telling Charlie Ferris. How could you do that? How could you do that to us? Bob, do I have to tell you I'm sorry? Do I have to tell you how ashamed I am? Yeah, you should tell him. You should be ashamed. I mean, you, after all these years, three years, the parties, the Christmases, that was all a lie, wasn't it? No, Bob. Yes! No! Has Frank talked to you? 
Very good. Oh, thank you. It's uh, it's all right, my doing this, isn't it? Of course. Uh, are you uh, interested in architecture? Oh, yes, I am. It's kind of a hobby of mine. Hmm. Oh, I'm Kenneth Castle. I work in Dr. Bolak's laboratory. I'm Dr. Coleridge. This You're Dr. Coleridge? You're the father... Of... I mean, <laughs> your whole family is working here. Both my son and daughter, yes. <laughs> that must be really wonderful. I like having them near me, if that's what you mean. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, it's uh, Romanesque, the detail I'm sketching. Oh, yes, I think they copied the style from the old hospital. The old hospital? Oh, there was a hospital built here in the early 1850s, and it lasted until the 1920s when they tore it down and built this one. Is any of the old building standing? Did, did they use any of it? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Well, sometimes they do. Sometimes parts of an old building are incorporated into the new one. Well, if you're really interested, you could speak to Miss Norris, who's in the library. All the old architectural documents are down there, and uh, well, I'm sure she'd be delighted to have you uh, look into them and says some obscure medical journal. I might do just that. <laughs> hey, don't you look nice this morning. How are you? I'm still pretty jumpy. Yeah? It's, it's just a terrible sense of, of being violated. I, I don't like the idea that somebody's in my room and I, I didn't even know about it. How do you think he got in? What makes you think it's a he? Well, it's, it's got to be. I, I, I figure it's that same weird person that sent me the note. Remember? Uh, tying her bonnet under her chin, she tied a young man's heart within? Well, if it is a he, it's a strange one. Do you think you left the door open last night after you put me to bed? I've been trying to remember. Or maybe the lock just didn't catch? Well, that's always possible, but... Yeah. I mean, even if it was, it's just too strange a coincidence. I mean, I can't believe someone was just walking by my door and had a rose and came in and put it next to my pillow. Mm. Well, pillow, uh, roses and poetry, I mean, at least he's harmless. Harmless? I'm scared half to death. Come on, Faith. Even if you if you let out a yell in your room, people would hear it for three stories up and down. Maybe you're right. Do you think it could have been Bucky? Oh uh, no, that's not Bucky's style sneaking around. Yeah, I guess not. But we we could ask him about it. I mean, he might have seen something. Yeah, let's let's do that. I just can't bear the idea that I'm being spied on. That someone's thinking about me and I'm not even aware of it. It's really scary. Now, there's nothing to be scared of. Nothing, oh, Faith. Sure. Nothing. I mean, nobody came into your room last night. Worse luck? Pat, don't make fun of me. I'm sorry. Somebody is thinking about me in a really strange way. I don't like that. It's a life-changing week for two couples. Would you be squeamish about abducting a bride? And... I may be able to get pregnant. Will Sam and Jason take the next step? Do you think you want to have a baby? Watch General Hospital weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Discover a studio secret from L'Oreal. Magic Perfecting Base, the number one primer. Used under makeup, it instantly smooths and resurfaces skin. Visibly fading lines and minimizing pores. Instant perfection. L'Oreal's Magic Perfecting Base. When did you get smart about your digestive health? When my stomach couldn't wait 14 days for slow-acting yogurt. Plum Smart is clinically proven to help regulate your digestion with a unique blend of prebiotic fiber, magnesium, and potassium. Try clinically proven Plum Smart and Plum Smart Light. All right, everyone, we're live in 60. 
the dreaded first sneeze, that crucial moment when you're left with a choice. Shorten your cold or suffer through it. At the first sign, get rid of your cold faster with Zycam. Aquafresh Isoactive Whitening, a breakthrough gel that transforms into an active foam. It surrounds and protects the whole tooth from cavities, front, back, and in between. Aquafresh Isoactive Whitening, amazing. People are talking about General Hospital's Lucky and Siobhan. D. Hunter Roscoe posted on Facebook, Finally a love for Lucky. He and Siobhan are great together. Charlotte May adds, This is great. I hope it works out for these two. Laura Bruno says, Men are always sexier when they're happy and in love. And Lori McPherson Draper sums it all up. They are just the cutest couple. Way to go, GH. I love this storyline. People are talking about General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. I'm going to get out of the way. Look, you don't have to go, Frank. I, I think I'm looking on a little job. Let him go, D. Guess you're kind of surprised, huh? Man, am I thick. Practically had, had to beat me over the head to get the point across. Honey, you weren't happy even in the beginning? We were fine. Bobby, we were terrific. We had our fights. You know, that one summer he worked overtime. Everybody said, though, the first year of marriage is always the worst. I really tried so hard. But you never let on. You never said anything. Look, I didn't want to be a crybaby. Am I supposed to go to someone and say Frank isn't the way I want him to be? Everybody thought Frank was so perfect. Yeah, but for three years you didn't say anything, Dee. Because I kept on hoping. Bobby, I kept on thinking it's going to end. I was so humiliated. I wasn't going to go around running around telling everyone that some woman stole my husband. Honey, I'm sorry. You know something? It's weird. I'm glad you know. Jill Coleridge. I can't believe she'd do something like that. There's not much that she wouldn't do. You know, I could tell you a lot of stories. I could tell you plenty. Yeah, I know. Now you know why she was hanging around Frank so much. Now you know why she was volunteering for everything. Now you know why she was volunteering for. I've known Frank 22 years. He's never lied to me. Look, Bobby, it wasn't Frank, it was her. I'm talking about me and Frank. There was always trust. He knew everything there was to know about me. He knew about how I felt about no. Mary. I thought I knew everything about him. I think you did. Except this little gem, hmm? Yeah, okay. I mean, why did he do it? How could he do it? Look, I told you. It was her. She was after him, Bobby. She was tempting him. Look, you're a man. I think you sh I think you know that. I know, I think you know how it is. I, I, yeah, I can imagine, Dee. That's all. I can just imagine. You know, I think you feel the same way I did when I found out. Betrayed? Yeah, I was so hurt. Yeah, well, I'm mad. I feel like I've been ripped off. Only, what they're stealing is a lot of trust. Look, Bobby. Just try something for me. Just try not to be mad. Look, I know it's awful what happened between the two of you. But you two have been friends for such a long time, ever since I was a baby. You know, my whole life I could always remember Frank and Bobby this, and Frank and Bobby that. Things changed you. 
Look, you two were always so close. Not anymore. But there was so much affection between you two, so much love. It can't just go away. Look, Bobby, you don't want that. No, 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 I don't want it, honey. I don't want it. Well, you know what I want? What? All right. I want Frank, and I want you and Frank to be friends. And I want the no. three of us to be together. Yes! And I want the three of us to be together again. Just the way we used to be. And I want us to have fun. Go out and have fun. No. Bobby, just re remember when we used to sing songs? No! Now look, I know it hurts you. Because I've been hurt too. But there's no point because it's only making it worse. Look, uh, I can forgive him. So you can forgive him. Not sure. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, Bobby. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm as right as I could be. You know, I don't know what Frank is going to do. Okay. You can come over to my place with the baby if you want. No. No, I think I'd better stay with Frank and the family. You're always welcome. Yeah, I know that. Thank you. I'll talk to you later, okay? I love you. I gotta get out of here. Bob gone? I wanted to see him before he left. You know what he said? He said he couldn't stay in this house with you. You know something, Frank? I think you just broke his heart. Next, spend some time in Genoa City with the young and the restless. Later, see who's stirring up trouble in Pine Valley and all my children. Only on SoapNet. We're all patients of his. He didn't tell you? I wanted to think that I was the only one. This is my past, my regret. Do not dwell in the past. Leo! Do not dream of the future. Nine years from now, something awful is going to happen to you. Am I dead? Oh, my God. What if I made a mistake? A SoapNet original primetime drama. Being Erica. New season premiere Wednesday, January 26th at 11 on SoapNet. There's a revolution in weight loss, and it begins with you. Okay, here it goes. I lost 80 pounds. I'm much more outgoing and happy and ecstatic all the time. I'm the incredible shrinking woman. Looking at myself in the mirror, just like from every angle. This is me. We send out cameras across the country and ask you to tell us your success stories in your words. Thank you, Nutrisystem. This is the new Nutrisystem. We've recruited top chefs to help remake and reinvent our foods. Foods so good, you'll rethink what it means to be on a diet. Call today and get your first seven days free. That's 28 meals free. It's a weight loss revolution. I've lost 101 pounds. Never felt better in a black dress before. Nice job. We're going to have some fun now. It's time to say hooray you. Get started today with your first seven days free. It's our best food at our lowest price ever. The new Nutrisystem. Call 800-321-THIN or visit Nutrisystem.com. This week, are you marrying me? They're making plans for the future. We're forever green land. Nothing's going to change that. But does Ryan still have feelings for Madison? You guys know each other? I'm very lucky that I met her. Watch All My Children, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. 15 seconds with Gina Tognoni. My days off, I love to read, read, read. It's a way for me to kind of get away and be quiet. I really enjoy reading whatever's hot, and um, even just uh, spiritual or metaphysical books. I, I love that kind of stuff. Catch Gina Tognoni and One Life to Live weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. It's a life-changing week for two couples. Would you be squeamish about abducting a bride? And I may be able to get pregnant. Will Sam and Jason take the next step? Do you think you want to have a baby? Watch General Hospital weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. 
this Sunday. Relive the moments that changed Erica's life forever. Everything that you've taught me, it's made me braver. Soapnet's Being Erica Catch-Up Marathon. It's good to be back. Don't miss the surprises. Everything is so intense when you're 17. The heartache. No amount of talking is going to fix it. The drama. This therapy has been the craziest experience that I have ever had. It all leads up to the shocking new season premiere. Where have you been? It's time, Erica. The Being Erica Catch-Up Marathon. This Sunday from 3 to 7, only on SoapNet. Feeling any better? I wish I were. I wasn't very nice to you before. You're always nice to no, me. No, I wasn't. Yeah. I mean, here you are with some midnight Romeo that you're doing a lot of spooky things with, and all you got from me was nobody's been bothering me lately. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm just being silly. No. If you're scared, I'm scared. And if there's anything I can do... I don't know what I want to do about it. Well, if, if you think anything, let me know. <laughs> okay. You know what I would really like, Pat? I'd like to go away someplace. Away? Yeah, just the two of us. Mmm, I like that. Got any ideas? I don't know. I can't think of anything specifically, but I just want someplace where we're away from everything and, and everybody. Mm. We can just spend days on end together. Where nobody knows where we are. That's right. <laughs> We're out of everybody's thoughts, even. Yeah. Just be alone together. I think I like that place. I love that place. Well, let me know, will you? Know what? Where it is when you find it. Yeah. I'm not sure. Maybe it's not impossible. Maybe we can find a place like that somewhere built on this site in 1846. It originally stood downtown uh, near Van Damme Street. It certainly had a lot of space around it. <laughs> Not like today. Yeah, where it stood then is the uh, garden and the court area now. Um, you see, they built the new hospital around the old one before they tore it down. Oh, uh, here. You can see where it stood right here on these plans. Do you think any of the basement areas are still there? I doubt it. Must have been filled in with dirt years ago. Oh, it's fascinating to think about, don't you think? Forgotten rooms still down there. Well, I'm not entirely sure I agree. I mean, um, my mother always cautioned me against holding what she considered to be disturbing thoughts, if you see what I mean. Oh, I just meant that uh, we used to have quite a number of architecture books at home. My mother loved to look through them with me. She never got tired of them. Well, it is fascinating. You know, my mother used to dream of winning a lottery or something so I wouldn't have to work and we could just enjoy things like this. <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it? You know, most people, when they get a book of pictures, they just keep turning the pages. But we would take one page and study it and study it and study it. And you'd be surprised at the things we'd be able to see when we looked long enough. Uh, well, you keep these plans and you look at them as long as you like. Just be sure to return them to my desk when you're through. Thank you, Miss Norris. Not at all. Uh...